Travel is about moments, big, small, and everything in between. I'm Courtney Scott. Come on, let's roam. Megan's Bay in St. Thomas has been hailed as one of the most beautiful beaches in the world. Despite its popularity, it still maintains that laid-back, local island vibe. I came here to meet HL, a paddleboard instructor and Megan's Bay expert. His adorable sons took on the task of giving me my first paddleboard lesson. You don't want to be slicing through the water, you just want to pull. What many people don't know about Megan's Bay is that it's a 319-acre nature preserve, and just steps from the beach you can enter a completely different world. Should we go for a nature walk? Are we going nature walk? Nature walk, yeah, let's go. HL is a nature nerd, in the best sense. Actually right there, you see him? Listen. Like here, you hear this over here? The wood of it is uh, very buoyant, and this was used by the early Indians to make dugout canoes. Oh, it it's, it's a bay, bay leaf. leaf. Huge bay leaf. Yeah, and uh, wrinkle it up, and then you take a whiff wow. of it. Wow! Oh gosh, he had me running around the forest, pointing out all kinds of cool flora and fauna. It looks like the normal palm that you're used to seeing with the fan, fan fronds. Like these knoll lizards, his keen eyes spotted dozens. Oh, you found a hermit crab. Cool. Okay, just let him walk across. If you try to, like, stop him, that's when he would pinch you. Whoa. And this tree? Climb at your own risk. There's another kind of neat-looking tree right here. It's called Monkey No Climb. I don't think anybody would climb it, but... Fresh papaya? They're just about right. Well, probably what I'll do is I'll come back here and get it in the next day or so, because if it turns more bright yellow, the birds get it first. The beauty of Megan's Bay extends far from its sandy shores, so don't miss the opportunity to go deeper and take a minute to recharge with nature.